Welcome to Third Eye Champagne. I am Kirsten Langston, author and intuitive. You are looking at the quick and dirty. This will be Trump America centric. So we're gonna take a little peek at the Mueller report, Mueller testifying, which I did predict years ago. And I remember saying specifically, I saw him in front of a committee. So that's the thing that's happening. Um, go me. I had a couple of, of, of things come true just in the last, week or so it was Mueller, which i didn't even think of as a as a as i call him toots so toot i'm tooting my own horn um i didn't even think of it as a toot but it really is um and then oh my god what were the other ones i don't know um dana loesch i said she would be out she would be fired she would be done she's done that came true and then um there was another one too and it was just like bam 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 all of them came true right like in a row i think one came true on the same day for the life of me, I don't remember what the other one was, but um, I've had a few. I've had a few things coming true, and I mean, these are predictions I made back in 2017. So the Dave Loesch one that that happened before the Parkland shooting, before anything. It, it I said both she and, and Wayne Lapierre would be out. They're out. They're done. And I said NRA is in deep shit, which they are. So that was back when they were kind of still doing fine. Very interesting. Um, so I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> I'm feeling my shit. All right, I'm feeling my mojo right now. I got my mojo working. And we're gonna look and see what's going on with Mueller first things first. So show me what is the, what are the results of Mueller testifying? Let's just look at that, let's go general. And I did do today an America deep dive. So if you're not a patron and you're watching this, um, and you've never seen a deep dive before. I don't, it's not really a channeling, but it's like the deep, deepest possible psychic reading that I can get to. So I've done one on Trump, which was bizarre. Um, I've done one on the Salem witches. I did one on Jesus. I did one on Mary. We've got one coming up on Atlantis, but I did this really impromptu right before 4th of July America deep dive and it was wild. It was really wild. It was very interesting. We could, we, there was a lot of good stuff that came out. So with these, um, a lot of it can't be verified. So I just call it good TV. <laughs> I just call it good TV. Um, I, you know, with this kind of stuff, it's going to come true or it's not. So it's definitely, you know, like psychic stuff. You know what I mean? But with the deep dives, yeah, I'm being psychic, but a lot of it can't be verified. And so I, I just kind of put it under the heading of awesome and weird stuff to watch. You know? But some of it has already been verified by, by, um, viewers which is really exciting so if you haven't seen it it's available on patreon there may be a little teaser coming up on youtube but it's really fun it was just it was a good one it was really interesting and we ended on the 60s and Jimi hendrix so that energy was amazing so let's see the outcome of muller and i really don't want to see these delay cards here anymore okay muller's in his own cards oh baby oh oh auntie we got some shit going on here okay so the truth comes out basically is what's going on here muller is in his own cards and he is not pulling any punches he it looked it makes him look really good and he gives us a lot of actually new information so whatever he's being questioned about he's not just going to sit there and re read the report there are statements going to be made there are things that are going to be said where people are just like oh my god um, it's a biggie. It's a bombshell. It's huge. So it's not just him saying, oh yeah, and then I said this in the report, and then I said this. There are questions that are going to be asked, and I think especially by females, um, that people are just like, bombshell, holy crap. I mean, this is a big deal. It's a big deal. Uh, it, it comes in quick. So I've got a lot of swiftly moving cards here. It comes in very quickly. So it's like bomb, boom, the tower is here. So we have big surprising news. He's not just going to say the same shit he said over and over and over again. There's other stuff here. He, he drops info. And then what happens next? What's interesting is I asked, what are the results, right? My end card here is the eight of swords. Um, eight of swords. It's a card called bound, but it's also about shaky ground. She's standing on a swamp here. So what's really interesting to me is it seems to be saying, 
Um, well, I mean, it could be saying prison, right? <laughs> but I don't think it is. Um, it, it seems to be saying we don't know where we are yet. It seems to be saying, okay, all this information comes out and then everybody sort of digests it. Let's read on Mueller himself and just see what comes out. And then, of course, we'll see how does this affect Trump at all, the United States, what have you. But but this this is huge. It's a bombshell. I'm telling you, there are things that come out that are not in that report. The questions this man is going to be asked where he, he answers, you know, and people are just going, oh, crap. Like, it's big. It's big. So, yes, watch it. Yes, watch it. Even if you were thinking, yeah, I'm not going to watch it. Watch it. It's going to be, there are going to be moments where our jaws are on the floor. Show me Mueller. I also get the sense that um, him, his testifying, and then somebody else testifies, and that blows the whole damn thing wide open. And then it really can't be ignored, because it's fully being ignored right now. I mean, people just aren't paying enough attention, which is really irritating, because, and I've said this before and I'll say it again, the corruption goes deep. The corruption with, you know, the Russia stuff goes very, very deep. There's a lot of dark money here. There are things that will be uncovered even now that we don't know about that we're just going, oh my God, are you joking right now? So, um, there, there's stuff that comes out. Mueller and, and some other person comes out with information. And and it's it really cannot be ignored. I mean... I would say this, I'm going to make a very bold statement. If Congress ignores everything after this, they're in on it, okay? Pelosi ain't making moves after this, she's fucking in on it. That's not being, me being psychic, okay? It's not, that's not me making a psychic statement, but it's me making a, a bold, opinionated statement. My father would have called it an editorial comment. <laughs> yeah, this comes in hot. This comes in hot, dude. This, this Mueller thing comes in hot very very hot and the judgment card is the last card and yes it's showing me the eclipse it's giving me the eclipse the eclipse is here it seems to take a little while to play out but there are no delays so whatever he drops and he will drop it like it's hot ladies and gentlemen whatever he drops it it doesn't immediately like there's no instantaneous holy shit we got to do this right now it, it seems to take a while to come like I, I like what what like like really set into the consciousness of americans and 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 elected officials it takes a while to set in it like like action takes a while to take place after this goes on but he is going to say collusion 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 he's gonna say it he's gonna flat out come out and say it they fucking colluded they did it it's a wake up call for a lot of people a lot of people a lot of elected officials it's a big goddamn deal it's huge. And so much, I'm going to tell you this, so much comes out after this is concluded. Um, there are people that sort of come out afterwards and they're like, oh, it's safe to talk now. And, and again, yes, it's with Russia. Yes, it's with dark money. Yes, it's with Trump. Yes, it's with Ivanka. Yes, it's with um, uh, Mohammed Ben Salman. Yeah, I mean, Jared, all of it. I mean, telling you this, God damn it. I, I'm, like, I'm like having a moment right now. You can tell as I'm talking like a friggin' auctioneer, um, which... It happens when I get these big energy downloads. So um, I know a lot of people, a lot of assholes like to make fun of me and say that I'm on crack or, you know, I'm like doing meth or whatever. I don't do drugs. Um, but when I get this information, I get very excited. It, I just start going. And I'm telling you, this is big. And the, the scandal is big. And it goes so fucking deep. And yes, I do believe it's tied to Brexit. I do believe you're going to see the same people, the same money. I don't know if we're seeing this already, but I'm telling you that there's tied. They're tied together. You're going to see the same. It is tied to Brexit. There's the same people. There's the same money. And um, damn, Zuckerberg's coming up again for me. This guy's got, I'm telling you, this guy might go to prison. Zuckerberg's in trouble. And he doesn't know it. He's in more trouble than he was in. And he doesn't know it. I'm telling you, this is sneaking in on me. He does not see it. He doesn't know it. But this guy's in big trouble. And he just, I, I swear to God, there might be prison time for this guy. You're going to see the oligarchs fall, my friends. You're going to see it. I'm telling you that right now. I can't believe the kind of information is coming through to me right now. We're right, we're right the day after the eclipse as I'm recording this. So um, it's July 3rd. This is probably going to come out the 5th, uh, 4th or the 5th. Um, but I'm telling you, the oligarchs are going to fall. They're going to fall. And they're going to fall. Hard. Yes, it's happening. Yes. The, the, the kind of wealth that you're seeing right now, you know, I said that the, the patriarchy the last gasp of the patriarchy. I said that in 2017. I think we, we all know that's a thing. And now I'm telling you, this is the last gasp, gasp of the oligarchy. Um, a lot of it in America, a lot of it around the world. They're gonna fall. 
they're gonna fucking fall. And so I'm assuming this is the result of regulation. It may not be, but it's like, this is, we're having a let them eat cake moment. And I, I don't even know if we realize it. So, okay. Yeah, so they're showing me justice moves slow, death moves slow to slow death. Look at this, slow death, slow death right there. Justice moves slowly. It is moving, but barely. I mean, I'd rather see that Knight of Swords here, right, than the Mr. Knight of Cups, but justice moves, but it moves slow. It's, good. it's just moving slow. I don't know why. Information comes to light around eclipse season and through this Mercury retrograde. By the way, a ton of information comes to light, a ton of it. And even then, we're not gonna have all of it yet. We're just not. And so now there's Pence again. There's Pence again. But I, again, you know, when Pence shows up in these cards, I always say that they might be able to get him on something, but then I'm not sure. I don't know if I just can't read Pence very well. You know, I don't know what the deal is with this guy because I've seen him be president and I've said, oh, he's gonna be sitting there. And then I've seen him not, I've seen him get caught. I, I've seen too many damn things with Pence. So I don't I don't trust my readings on Pence anymore to be fair, to be true. Um, it, I've just been seeing too much, but he's here in the cards. He's here in the cards. I wanna look at Congress. Let's see what they're gonna do. I'm on him right now, you guys. I, well, Pelosi's here, so I'm gonna read on her first. Let's just see what's up with Nance. God, I've been calling her a hoe for so long now. I've been, I've been so upset with her. I walk around my house. This is how batshit I am. I, um, you know, I work from home, obviously. So I'm home alone a lot. And I, I just kind of have this running conversation throughout the day, you know. Used to talk to Santo, but he's not here with us anymore. So, um, but I've been talking to Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> I've been talking to Nancy Pelosi a lot. And I'm always like, you fucking hoe. I like Nancy Pelosi, okay? Don't get me wrong, I like Nancy Pelosi, but I, I, I definitely have the opinion that we should be impeaching and um, it really irks me that she's not doing it. There's Mueller, look at that. She's waiting on Mueller, she's waiting on bipartisanship, we know that, we know that. So is she gonna get it? Is Nancy gonna get what she wants for impeachment? Show me that. Ha ha, that's a different way to ask a question, huh? Energy is moving so swiftly right now, you guys. And the energy is moving very, very swiftly. Um, yes, I mean, we're in eclipse season. And, and, and for whatever reason, I know usually things slow down with Mercury retrograde. I don't feel that way. I feel like it's gonna keep going. So I don't know if this is the effect of the eclipse or what, or Mars and Leo, but I'm telling you. Ooh, we got the sun on Nancy. We got victory on Nancy. She's gonna get what she wants, I think. Yeah, I think she is. She's sitting tight, sitting tight, sitting tight, sitting tight. But it's showing me celebration for her, so there's some kind of victory coming for her. But right now, this is the home environment for Nancy Pelosi. Hanged man, sitting tight, not moving. Okay, but she's got the sun on top of her. She's got victory below. She's got the devil in judgment, which is really interesting to me because this is, some, to me, saying information's coming to light that allows her or other people to pass a judgment call, make a judgment call. It's showing me celebration for her. So I'm asking, is she gonna get what she wants to impeach? And it's showing me really, really, really good cards. Really good cards. Um, she is looking for bipartisanship and she's not finding it. And I don't know if she's ever gonna find it, but she might find enough of it. So she may find enough of it. And I'm gonna tell you right now, um, my representative has not come out in favor of impeachment and I'm not voting for that guy next time. <laughs> he has lost my vote. And I mean, I have, I've been voting for him for a long time. He's lost my vote, hands down. Probably gonna write him a letter and tell him that actually. Um, <laughs> then I'm gonna start working on other people telling him not to vote for this guy. <laughs> I want to sabotage this man's career single-handedly. No, just kidding. So show me does Congress impeach or move for impeachment? Let's, let's do that. Well, they've already moved for it, so I can't ask that question. Not a good question on time. Would they file? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say they file articles of impeachment, right? Show me does Congress file articles of impeachment against Trump? And this emoluments, emoluments, right? Uh, that that lawsuit moves forward quickly. This is all catching up to him, you guys. It's all catching up to him. All of it. I'm only sorry that it took so long to come out. 
but I feel that on Trump. I feel like he's about to shit his pants, if you want to know the truth. Like, that's literally the psychic feeling I just got. Like, this man, maybe he does shit himself. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, but I feel like he's really about to shit himself. All right, so what are we looking at? That delay card is showing up for us again for impeachment. But what I like is this, the delay card is in the home, it's, it's right on top of us, it's in the now. So, you know, live in the now, we're looking at now, sir, that's two movie quotes, um, but yeah, we're here. We're looking at now, sir. So I like it because the delay is not in the future, but let's see what is in the future. Whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Temperance card is like, it's moving slow. Um, Trump in the home environment. Magician. I do believe they are going to file for impeachment. This is a, it's a, it's a sketchy little reading here. So it's, I would have preferred maybe justice. Um, but I'll take the magician. I'll take it. It looks like they do file. It looks like eventually they do file. I do have this guy here, this guy here, and this guy here. And that, but they didn't come in the spread. They kind of came off to the side. They were like, oh, we just want to come out and party. So, um, but I do feel like they're going to, they're going to file for impeachment. Yes, let's, since he's out, we'll take a peek at him. This. So I've been watching a lot of Deadwood. <laughs> and, and, and the C word, the CS word, one of my favorite words. I don't say it on camera because um, it's, it's, it's pretty offensive. <laughs> says she who says motherfucker every other word. But I try to keep it, I don't say the see you next Tuesday, I don't say the, the CS word on camera, but but they're my favorites. I love them. I just love all sorts of nasty, horrible, you know, awful, socially unacceptable phrases. And um, I almost said the CS word. I, the Deadwood, I never watched it for whatever reason, and I am like fully invested in it right now. Fully invested in it. Just started season two. I don't know how I missed it. I don't. It's one of the best shows I've ever seen. Like, what the f? Um, how did it end so soon? I don't know. But it's really got me saying that CS word a lot more. <laughs> a lot. I'm like, yeah, I'm with you, Al. Yeah. They're all CSers. How you doing all today? How is everybody doing today? You know your auntie loves you. It's real, it's legit. I recognize you guys. So just so you know, I've been saying this lately. Um, I recognize your names, especially if you've been with me a long time. If you're a frequent commenter, or you email me, or you've gotten a reading by me, I recognize your names. I, I know when you're not here, and yeah, I miss you when you're not here. So I wanna say thank you to everybody for being with me, and especially those of you who've been with me for a while. It means the world to me, it really does, so. Just a little shot of gratitude for you sexy bitches out there. I just realized I'm going to have to skip Sunday brunch in July. It's the same day as my Portuguese thing. I just realized that. Because um, I was just about to say, and then we'll have, you know, I was about to hype the Sunday brunch and be like, if you're not a patron, we're going to have Sunday brunch and it's the best thing because it is. And I realized we're not. We're not, I'm gonna have to switch it to a different date. Ooh, Trump. Disappointment on Trump, but the but again, it, it's moving very slowly, very, very slowly. So it's disappointment, it could be a delay. It's underneath Trump right now. He is fully delusional. He's got the seven of cups on top of him. The man is fully delusional. He doesn't, he doesn't know what's going on here. It does show him walking away again. Oh, he's just running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Just, I mean, that's the jam here. I mean, he's just gone. Let's look at him a little bit closer. And then I'll look at him regarding Mueller impeachment and what the hell he thinks he's doing. Somebody else is running the show here. I mean, this guy is not, God, maybe he is shitting himself. He's just not there. He's just, did I just, yes, I did. I knew I did that. I put my cards back upside down. Can't have that. Yeah, he's fully gone, fully gone. What are you gonna do next? It's a broad question, but I just want to ask it. Of significance, if there's anything. Um. So, I've I've been obsessed with U.S. women's soccer for years now. Years. It's one of my favorite sports. I like the women's soccer better than the men's. Way better. Sorry, men's, but I do. 
and um, Megan, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I mean, I've been on her for years. I just, I've always thought she was the coolest. And now I'm standing so hard, it's painful. Interesting. There's a pregnancy card again. So I know this came up last time I read on this guy and I don't know what it was. There is something coming for him, it's financial. And I think I've said this before. Look at this. So this is, he's gonna make some dumb fucking move. I mean this, this, but there is, so this is twofold here for me. There is a financial bombshell coming for Trump. There is a financial bombshell coming for Trump, yes. But also this feels to me like this is him just doing another dumb stunt, straight up. But look at this, with the finances again. This is very interesting, very, very interesting. So there's, there's information here, something's coming out, information's coming out, it comes out quick. It comes out, but does it do anything? I mean, that's the deal, you know, and that's part of the problem. I think I've always made this assumption when these, it, these bombshells come out, this information comes out, well, this is it. This is going to be the thing that does them in. And it's always an assumption I've made because it's so heinous. You know, it's such a heinous misdeed that I'm like, well, he can't stay after this. And yet he has. So that, you know, that was a, that was an example of my thinking mind getting in the way of, um, my intuition. What do you think of the Mueller report? He feels like he's going to get around it, but he's not all there, you guys. Oh my God. I mean, this man is like brain fog central right now. He's not all there at all. No, he thinks, he, it's just like La La Land. Like he doesn't even think about it. I'm telling you. And yet at the same time, it's like he's in and out. I mean, I think this man has dementia because there are times where he thinks about it and then I get the like, I'm gonna shit myself feeling. Uh, and then there are times where he just doesn't even think about it. Which is just like, oh, it's not a thing, it'll be fine. Like he, this guy is nuts. This guy is batshit fuck nuts crazy. I am telling you, he's just not, he's not well. He's not well. I think sometimes he, he, look at this. Oh my God, it's in the cards. What did I tell you? There are times where he's worried about it, flipped out about it. There's your card of worry, nine of wands. And then there are times where he doesn't give a shit. And here's your card called peace of mind, four of swords. I'm sorry, nine of swords, not wands. But yeah, I mean, yeah, he's, he's all over the map here. Look at this, emotional. So, I mean, he is, he's up and down, and this is a card of up and down. Like, this is, he's guys everywhere. He's got these cards of stop and go. I don't think he knows where the hell he is. I really don't. I really don't. And you know, there are people, I'm gonna tell you this, there are people that are gonna deny they ever supported this guy. They are gonna deny it. There are people that'll go to their graves go, I know he's wonderful. I mean, you always have those idiots, right? But, um, I'm gonna keep him there, actually. But there are people that will deny. And, and yes, there are deaths in the camps that, um, the, I can't believe I'm saying this. I can't believe I'm saying this phrase. There are deaths in, deaths in the camps, like, Jesus God, where are we? Uh, I'm very disturbed by it. I don't like to bring it on camera. I, I think it's nice to have somebody that's, up, you know, and, and light, right? Because the information and the things that are going on are so horrific that, um, I don't want to, I don't want to just make it worse and come in and be a downer. So I, I do keep it up. I do keep it light, but, um, I'm, I'm just as horrified as everybody else. I just don't, I don't bring it to the camera, but there are deaths that are going to come out, hidden deaths, secret deaths, real, real, real nasty stuff in these camps. Yeah. Big time. I wouldn't be surprised if you get like unmarked graves, like that kind of a situation. I'm not kidding. That might be a tiny bit hyperbolic, but I, I mean, show me, are you impeached? are coming out that much I can tell you Pelosi is on Trump with the victory card okay so again my outcome is the same card so it becomes a slippery slope for him at the very least I have more outcomes here I mean that was just in the near future
cards are being slick with me, you guys. <laughs> cards are being slick with me. My outcome here is the Six of Pentacles, which... I mean, to me, it's just saying he's unwell, he's unwell, he's unwell. I, I, I don't... I'm not getting a yay or a nay on impeachment here at all. I mean, I... It, they're tricky cards today. I'm not surprised. We're between eclipses. We've got a Mercury retrograde coming on in like four days. And also, I feel like there's information that we just can't, don't need to know right now. I think it's being purposefully hidden from us. Not to say that... I never thought he would be impeached, though. To be honest, I never thought he would be impeached. They may start articles of impeachment, but it might be like Nixon. Okay. I am going to look at the, the camp situation and just see when does that start to improve. I feel like it is going to start to improve. Uh, next president comes in and gets rid of all of this, by the way. I swear to God, next president comes in, I don't know who it is yet, uh, but they come in, they get rid of all of this nasty stuff. So they, they do, they, huge social reforms take place under this next president, huge. Huge, I mean, I, I cannot overstate this, huge social reforms. And then goddamn Susan Sarandon will say, see, Trump was worth it. And, you know, Bernie Sanders, somehow, he ends up playing a very big part in, in these social reforms. I don't know if it's because he's the president. I don't believe he's going to be, quite frankly. But either his ideas or his, or his supporters or something, there's something there where it's like, oh, yeah, this is the Sanders bill. I mean, there's something here. He plays a big part in it. Huge social reforms. Okay. Okay. So I've got the kids here. It's very slow going. This is a bombshell for them and they try to clean it up but they don't do a great job initially at all. But this is a bombshell for them. Here's the bombshell. Here are the camps. Uh, it's But it's slow. First of all, the information is really slow to come out. There's more stuff that's gonna come out. Very nasty, nasty, nasty stuff. Even worse than the stuff we've already heard. Um, and you're gonna have more deaths. I think you're going to have, um, there may be actually a, a group of deaths, a rash of deaths, if you will. Uh, they are, it's, it's, so they're getting help in that information is coming out about this, okay? That's where they're getting help right now, but they need way more help, way more help. And yes, the eclipses are going to do a lot of this heavy lifting as far as getting the information out and getting these camps to shut down. But they, I don't think they're going to shut down, honestly, until the next president is in. They're, so they, they're going to clean it up. They're gonna, there's an initial cleanup, and then it's like, that, that was your cleanup? That, that was you making this better? Let's look at the borders also. I just had this really funny Im image of Jared Kushner fleeing the country. It could just mean I'm getting tired or it could be legit. I guess we'll see how it pans out. And I will say, you know, this, doing this, it's fun for me. I think it's fun for you guys to watch it. Um, I like to see what comes true and what doesn't. And no, I'm never going to hit it. I'm never going to hit 100% of the stuff 100% of the time. And I would appreciate it. Um, because some people have a tendency when you're hitting it, oh yeah, you're great, you're great, you're great, you get one thing wrong and you're a piece of shit. So I would appreciate it, you know, if um, if you were kind, if you want to talk about stuff that I didn't predict correctly, if you were you were kind to me about it. Um, and this goes for patrons. I've had some patrons go, oh, well, you fuck that up. And it's like, whoa, excuse me? So um, FYI, FYI. This is not about me being right all the time. And it's definitely not about you relying on me to be psychically right all the time. It's not. It's a game. It's a, it's a show. This is about, let's be entertaining. Let's get some good information. Let's get some good energy going. And, and we'll see if the information comes true. That's the name of the game. We don't know it's true until it, it actually happens. That's legit. So there, as as Robert Mueller falls into my crotch. How about that? Crotch card. Hey man. Oh, I almost said almost said something terrible. Terrible. I'll keep it to myself. 
but yeah, these, uh, this, I don't think this closes, these camps close until, I, this is, I've spread on the camps, I know it, it's not the border at all, until the next president gets in. There's information that comes out, I'm telling you. More, more stuff comes out, real nasty stuff. They're, they're st still not showing their full hand. They're still not showing their full hand. Yes, they will allow people to die by negligence. Absolutely, they're fine with that. But they are not showing their full hand still. There is still stuff going on in these camps that, I can't believe I'm saying this sentence, uh, that is really nefarious, is really nasty, is really horrifying, but We'll, we'll get there. We'll get rid of these fuckers. We'll get these people safe. We will. We absolutely will. All right, show me the borders and then I'm out of here. Show me the situation at the borders. That gets worse. And I think I said this before in, in a, uh, might've been Sunday brunch. I may have even said there was going to be deaths at the borders and then that, that horrible, horrible photo of the father and daughter came out. Um, I may have. I don't know. I don't remember, but I might have. Yeah, the, so the cards are kind of like, you want to be worried about something. Be worried about the borders. They get nasty at the borders. So here's your borders. Here's them getting nasty. Here's them being the emperor. Here's them being really, really horrifying with people. Um, yeah, heartbreak at the borders. The, the bo it's not good. It's real bad. Yeah. Yeah. So here's, here, I mean, this is the card of the immigrant. It's right here. Here they are. And um, this is what's happening at the borders. They're being bound up. They're being turned away. They're being hurt. Um... It's, the, it's, it's, it's on the borders right now is where it's really more gnarly than we realize as well. So that's another place that I think we should be looking at. But it is handled. I mean, th this stuff lightens up, you guys. It does. But I'm telling you, it's the next president, which, funnily enough, might be Liz Warren. Water sign, right? Um, maybe. Maybe. But somebody handles this. But it's not for a minute. So just, you know what? Keep donating, keep protesting, keep doing what you gotta do, keep hitting up your reps, and do the best you can. So there. That will do it for me. I will see you all very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. You mean the world to me. I am, I am your biggest cheerleader. I really am. Mwah.